Today, me and my friend are going head to head to see who can build the most realistic Lego builds. And the winner is going to receive this Lego trophy. We uh, kind of ran out of yellow bricks, otherwise it'd be bigger. And we're gonna have a special guest judge each of our builds to see which one is the most realistic. And this is my friend Christian. How's it going? The first build we're gonna recreate is this iPhone. This is gonna be kind of challenging if we're trying to replicate it. We'll see. We're gonna do 45 minutes for this build starting now. So if we use our Lego ruler, we can get the dimensions of this to make it the exact same size. That many bricks tall. I'm saying it quietly so he doesn't know because he's gonna have to measure it himself. <laughs> I think I'm gonna build mine in black. So this is gonna be rather challenging. The Apple logo is gonna be pretty difficult to pull off because it's more of a mirror. I'll just start digging through some drawers and see if I can find some interesting parts that I can throw together. It's like Riley's already got started with those thingies. I'm gonna use these pieces for the corners because they have the perfect bevel. And then I'm basically going to create this whole thing using a snot technique where you take these studs not on top bricks and stick stuff on the sides. I feel like I've built this before when I was younger using kind of the same thing. All I have to do is just assemble it like this. We already have the top part of the phone. The hardest part is going to be the cameras because we want it to be so realistic that you can't tell that it's Lego. So we've got some sort of frame going here. It's kind of rough, but hopefully I'll be able to build something kind of neat off of it. We've got bevels on our frame. We're running out of time quick. Uh, let's keep going. Are you stealing stuff? You brought the iPhone over here. <laughs> oh. What am I supposed to do? Wait a minute, did you copy me and go with black too? Well, yeah, because it's hard to find colored pieces that are beveled because you don't have much of a selection. So check it out. If we build something with these snot bricks, just putting one on each side, we can now connect these like this. And then all we gotta do is put a couple plates down here and it's the smoothest transition ever. We already have like the iPhone shape. Okay, so now we just gotta fill this up with bricks and then I'm just gonna put in, put on tiles and then I can build the lens, which is like gonna be the thing that looks the best. Guys, I have a plan. We find some super glue and we don't tell them. Are you using these? What? Wait, 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 what were those? I'm using them way more often. I need them for like every layer. Well, I need them too. This is iPhone shape. Now we just need to get iPhone looks. As you can see, the iPhone has two lenses and then a little light here. So my thought, I am gonna grab two of these. And then if we just put this here and this here, that already looks more iPhone-like. Check it out. Add some tiles. Bam, bam. Add our power button. <gasps> I didn't think about that. Hopefully nobody looks at that side. Now we just gotta get an apple right here. Eh? How's it going, Christian? Four minutes left, how are you feeling? Terrible. If I can pull this together in the, the, the last minutes, it might look interesting. And the pressure is on. And time. <laughs> okay. We took a little extra time for the phone, but w which one is it? Okay, so technically, it's supposed to be an optical illusion where you look at it from a distance. The gray is the oh. bezel, the black is your screen, and then the black on the outside is supposed to be the iPhone case. These are slightly indented to show that these are buttons. No way to stick this guy onto here. Sadly, I didn't have time to figure that out, so. Yeah, we could just set it up so it looks like it's on there. That's all right. Mine, as you can see, is just a basic iPhone. It looks kind of iPhone-esque from 10 feet away. <laughs> the only thing is, if you look at the other side, I accidentally put one of these little two by two pieces on because I didn't have them in black. We have our judge of the hour, Kanda, my sister. Okay, don't do that. We want you to judge which one of these looks most like the original. It can be based on preference, it can be based on how you like it. I can touch them, right? And then, yeah, you can touch them. And then we'll tell you which ones we built after you judge. That one's cool. Oh, yeah. I like the emblem. It's pretty close. Little I mean, it is pretty close. All right, what's the second part here? I'll have Christian explain for no obvious reason. Here, I'll demonstrate, so. His is a flat brick, like normal iPhones, but mine's three-dimensional. Three-dimensional, wow. Okay, mm, I gotta say this one, mostly because of the emblem and the two things, but I like the idea surrounding the three-dimensional. That was kind of cool. GG. GG. All right, off to build the next one. So for the next challenge, we're both gonna build a food item. So Christian is going to build a hot dog. That was pretty nasty, to be honest. And I ordered a burger, so each of us is gonna have to recreate their food item and see which one looks the most realistic to the actual item. See, my plan is, while we were you know, making this, I put so much condiment on it that you can't see the hot dog, so as long as I just put a nudge of ketchup looking bricks, I can hide it and it'll look realistic. That's not a bad idea, actually. These are my buns. Oh, it's a little small. These are parts of my, part of my buns. I'm gonna build this up with plates and then add some slopes maybe, and I just wanna get the exact kind of shape of our burger. 
Okay, so I'm gonna take my two buns, and I'm, this is the bottom one, this is the top one. Now, we just gotta fill it up with stuff. So I'm gonna build all the other stuff separately and then stack it. I'm gonna grab these as my pickles. We got some tomatoes. What's in here? We're gonna get started on the bun first. Kinda wish I picked a better food that'd be easier to make. I think our best bet is to start with some sand pieces and see if we can get the color as accurate as possible. We're gonna make a cartoon hot dog because I don't have many colors to work with. So we're gonna use this as a shadow and this is our base tone color. And you are annoying, you really are. I'm so sorry. Let's continue. So we got both hot dog buns. Uh, we can put them together. Hopefully this looks kind of accurate. If I have time, I might do a little bit of shading on the hot dog to give it a little bit more of a cartoony kind of feel. Now we gotta build the burger patty, so we need brown. I think I'm gonna use these for the edges of my burger patty, because again, we want it smooth, not a lot of studs. Put this here, bam, we got a quarter of the patty. And then we just extend this, use a brick technique to do this, and we'll have a sort of round thing. If we use this dark brown, we can put it on the sides of the burger to make it look like a grill mark, yes. And I'm gonna put a Technic pin all the way through this. We can just slide all the stuff on it and we can rotate it and it'll all stick together. And cheese probably go on the bottom. I am making a cylinder out of these guys to hopefully convey roundness because we only have two of these. They're not gonna save us. I have complete faith in myself. Riley's build it is garbage and let's continue. We have the yellow piece on the outside and now the cheese can fold down. And when this is in the burger, look at that, jeez. But our burger, We'll add our lettuce on top of the bun. Then we'll add our tomatoes and our pickles. And then we'll add our top bun here. To top it off, we'll just add some seeds to the top of it and then some ketchup and mustard marks. So Dude, that looks pretty we're good. gonna partially put this together and then cover the stuff in the middle where we don't have parts or pieces. Just put on enough relish and condiments. Ketchup looking bricks. Make sure the hot dog looks like it's a full hot dog. I hate it, but I don't have time. That looks pretty good. Yeah, there we go, there's our hot dog. Kind of got the angle. You did pretty good, like that looks good. As you can see, I have my sesame seed bun and we have lettuce, tomatoes, no pickles because that was way too much. So I'd say it looks pretty good compared to the original. Like it's a little taller, but you can tell this is a burger. All right, let's see what she thinks. This is the first food item. I'm not telling you who built it yet, but you know, we're going on realisticity. So whichever one looks most like the original. Okay, so the original, it's looking a little sad. However, the Lego version I would eat. Okay. <laughs> I think it looks really good. Take that away before I hurt it. <laughs> All right, and here we have yeah, plate B. Plate B. Whatever you want to call it, it's a burger. Okay. So far hasn't fallen apart in my hand. I like the sesame seeds. I also like how it really looks built up. Yeah, it it's does. not flat. I mean, so it's better than the original. Which one would you eat? I'd eat this one if I knew I wouldn't break a tooth. And the final decision is, which one would you rather have? I like burgers so much. I don't know, I gotta say the hot dog, even though I spilled half of it on the floor. Pretty plump, it's a pretty plump dog. Who's with the hot dog? That was Christian's. Nice! So it's one to one now, which means the person who wins the next one basically wins the whole thing. The next thing we're gonna build is a plant because I feel like coming up with abstract shapes with Lego is gonna be really hard. And creating the jar I thought would be fun too. So I have no idea what it is, but thanks mom. So I'm gonna start by building up the glass jar, as you can see, with some of these cylinder pieces. Can't fill it with water obviously, but I can fill it with some vine looking things. This should turn out pretty good. Hey, look at that. Now we gotta fill it with some vine pieces. I'm gonna start looking at some of the plant pieces and some green bricks and see if we can throw something together. I have an interesting idea that might be able to work if we can throw in some like vines. I could like take this and like weave it through the bars and I think that would look really cool. More plant-like than his jar over there. Hmm, I still want a jar though. I have an idea. I got these guys. Wrap up these Lego root pieces through the top here. The nice thing about these is you can actually clip on more to them because they have like the same shape on them. This is a mess of roots, but that's exactly what we want. Christian, tell us a little bit about this time together. Basic thought is I just put the plants in there and then I put this around the edges to kind of give a rim. Um, I'm kind of just pulling this it's kind of just copying me, to be honest. <laughs> I am not. Your jar's smaller. So this is what I'm making. I'm making a jar originally. Yeah, my plan what is to- What are these? <laughs> we're putting the roots up like this, and then the plan is to basically make some leaves out of some smooth slope pieces. I'm gonna use more snot bricks. 
and then I'm gonna put some back to back on a plate, and then I'm gonna grab some slopes like these and put them like that. A couple of these I stole off of Christian's relish, and boom, we got a leaf. We just have to figure out how to attach the leaf. Yes, it's a leaf. It's a leaf. Sorry, what? I hate how fragile this is. Well, you hate how fragile yours is. <laughs> Mine's like all over the place. It looks like a, a cup with a weird straw, but I can use pre-built stuff and like pretend I built it. That's a cool little root system. Yeah, that looks like a leaf. By the way, guys, there are two pieces of dope merch. This one is the Brick Science shirt. And this, Christian, is wearing the thinking cap, the brain with the brick science bubbles on it. So if you guys wanna cop these and some other merch, you can check out the link in the description or right below the YouTube video. Cause honestly, they're pretty cool. We got more merch to come. This is just our first drop. It's super fun. Okay, I just finished, check it out. It's a plant. It looks just like the plant. I'm pretty proud of this, honestly. Connected everything. I used some like little finagly string bits. I just made it look like super smooth, no studs. So now it's time to see what the judge thinks of our builds. All right, so your goal here is to pick which of the plants that you like best and don't think would die, I guess. <laughs> which would you rather have in your kitchen or your whatever? I, mean, I want this one because it looks no, better than mine at home. It's based yeah, on which good. one. <laughs> You're the worst. This one looks like it came out of the jungle. This one looks like it came out of the little shop of horrors. I'm not sure why. It could be because it looks like one of the plants there. This one. It looks like your five-year-old went out and picked you some flowers from the garden. <laughs> it's very well thought. That's just what it looks like. It doesn't look bad. I'm just saying, for some reason, that's what came to mind. Maybe because Riley used to pick us flowers and just hey. pick All right, because we're in a rush. I'm just kidding. No. I would like to present this trophy to Christian. Ah. Thanks. Because I liked, Christian. I liked all that he's got going on here. This just looks a little simplified and like an alien plant to me. GG. <laughs> ah. Well, this was our pretty fun challenge. I, I won a trophy. I don't know if I'm taking this home or not. He probably needs the pieces. Check out one of these two videos popping up on your screen. And also, make sure you check out this video sponsor, Crazy Kai's Brickling Store, for your Lego brick needs. You can check them out by clicking the first link down in the description or button that's popping up right here. See ya. See ya.